Elephants are dying. We're looking at this article from Science News, and it says elephants are dying in droves in Botswana. Scientists don't know why. 39 elephants have died as neighboring Zimbabwe nails a fresh killer pathogen. And you can see right here it says um, African elephants walk through the Morami Game Reserve in northern Botswana, where a second wave of mysterious deaths among the pachyderms has scientists scrambling. Die-offs of African elephants have once again erupted in Botswana. In just the first three months of 2021, 39 have succumbed. The mysterious deaths occurred in the Moremi Game Reserve in the northern part of the country, nearly 100 kilometers from a region of the Okavango Delta, where about 350 elephants died during May and June in 2020. Puzzled scientists have been calling for thorough investigations as the government send mixed messages on the cause of death. Anthrax and bacterial infections have been ruled out in the new deaths, and further laboratory analysis is ongoing. Botswana's Department of Wildlife and National Parks reported in a March 24th news release. However, the 39 recent deaths were linked based on a preliminary results to the same cyan bacteria toxins blamed for last year's die-offs, said Filda Karing, Botswana's Minister of Environment, National Resources, Conservation, and Tourism, in a March 30 state television address. Remote sensing of areas of last year's mass die-off supports the cyanobacteria theory from March through July 2020. Cyan bacteria abundance increased continuously as the water sources were shrinking. Researchers report online May 28th in the Innovation with Climate Change, Bodies of Water, get warmer and toxin cyan bacteria thrive. Other evidence points to a pathogen as well. The 2021 elephant mortalities are specific to elephants as the case in 2020, says Shahan Azim, a veterinary scientist at the University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences in Lahore, Pakistan. If anthrax were to blame, other animals would have been affected, but they were not. And there would have been the telltale signs of bleeding off on the carcasses, which was not the case. Poaching was ruled out because the elephants' bodies were intact with their tusks. An investigation of the larger 2020 die-off suggests that the pathogen may have been the cause. Azim and the colleagues reported online August the 5th, 2020, in the African Journal of Wildlife Research. Botswana and neighboring countries in Southern Africa have a transboundary conservation agreement under which elephants can roam across borders during migration. As Botswana, home to about 130,000 African elephants, has struggled to explain the recent deaths. Zimbabwe, on its eastern border, reported the death of 37 elephants in 2020. Sudden deaths in one area concerned the others. Scientists had first blamed the Zimbabwe deaths on a hemorrhagic septicemia, a disease called the bacterium Pasteurula mutilicida. But more recent genetic studies point to a related bacterium, Bisgard Taxon 45, as the culprit, says Jessica Dawson, CEO of Victoria Falls Wildlife Trust in Zimbabwe, which has been doing lab analysis for that country's deaths. In March, the International Union for Conservation of Nature called African forest elephants critically endangered and African savanna elephants endangered. 
the IUCN lists poaching as the principal threat along with a rapid increase in land use by humans which has decreased and fragmented the elephant's living areas. Shrinking habitat and climate change may play a role in keeping the elephants exposed to the deadly pathogen. Whatever it is, researchers say, the area is a hot spot for human-elephant conflict. Fencing to keep the animals away from the crops and the deep Akavanga River imprison the elephants. Biologist Stuart Perem of the Duke University and colleagues wrote in January 11th, Pier J, the researchers tracked elephants in the area and showed very limited movement. What's clear is that in Botswana, and indeed in other places, fences restrict the movements. Elephants can't escape what may be a dangerous situation for them. So we have these elephants dying in droves and they've done genetic testing on these elephants, and they have found some common culprits. Uh, it's sad what's happening uh, to the animal kingdom. It's very, very sad, and uh, because they're at the mercy of humans in one way or another, okay? They are, and... Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. It is. We have uh, dying species all around the world in the animal kingdom. And then we have this um, human race also. With that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you.